Hello and welcome to a new ADF tutorial. And today we are going to use ADF view to visualize properties of the anthracene molecule, such as densities and sterics. All right, first we're going to add anthracene to our input. We can use that using the search option and typing anthracene. Here under molecules, anthracene ADF. Here we go. And now we are going to run the calculation using all the default settings. So file, run. All right, the calculation has finished. And now we are going to use SCM view. And we're going to add an ISO surface. Add ISO surface colored. In the left field, we will select density SCF. And in the right field, we will select potential Coulomb potential SCF. Obviously, um, this is not a very smooth image, but we can make it smoother by going to fields, grid, and pressing medium. And we will recalculate the fields. Here we go. In this box, you can change the ISO value and you can just change it to whatever and see what happens. So this is 0 0.01, but if we move it to 0 0.2, it looks more like this. We will keep it on 0 0.02 for now. When you change the ISO value, the default range for the coloring scheme will be adjusted automatically and the range corresponds to the minimum and maximum value of the coloring field. You can see the coloring scheme by checking the bar box and limits are shown in these fields on the bottom right. Now, if you click on the bar, toggle a menu with a lot of different options. Another way to show this menu is by going to the ISO surface colors and show or hide details to toggle this menu. The first line of the detailed controls allow you to set what the surface looks like and control the material properties. The second line controls color mapping. The hue, saturation and value fields give you the option to specify two colors. You can also change the color map from diverging where it goes from one pure color to white to another pure color, to rainbow, where it changes from one pure color to another through other colors. And the third line allows you to control a clipping plane so you can look inside the surface, which we are going to do later on. Okay, now we are done with this outer surface, so we can delete it. We can delete it in this menu. There we go. And now we have a nice image of our electron density in anthracene. As you can see, we have high electron density in the bonds of the molecule, where it is blue, and low electron density where it is red, as we can see by the bar. Another option you can use while using clip planes is to determine where the surface gets clipped by using the interactive plane option. This way we can turn the molecule and clip the plane at different angles and sides as you can see here. You can reset this clicking the standard clip buttons on the bottom right. If you go to view view direction along z-axis and then rotate the molecule you can use this also to change the clipping plane in this direction and raise it a little bit above the atoms so when we turn it off 
it will move, it, it can look more like this. If you don't like the look of clipped surfaces, we can also ch just turn this off and change the opacity to look inside of the molecule. For example, change it to 20. And we have an image that looks like this. All right. I, uh, we, we can use we can go back to the clip planes and r turn it up to a hundred again and we set it to the minus XY clip plane all right now we're going to play with the lights and the way we're going to do that is going to view and then all the way at the bottom we show scene light and now a line comes up in our menu where we can change light properties when you turn it on the lighting changes and you can position the light if you check the position light box. You, can, you might have to rotate the molecule to um, change the position of the light source, which you can just drag around this globe you can see on your screen. For example, to this position, you can rotate it all the way to see what it looks like. And then if you want to look at it without the globe, you can just uncheck the position light box and then look at it just like that. If you like the way it looks, you can leave it like this. You can also change some of the light options, which are the intensity of the extra light and the ambient light. For example, if you can change it to 78, this one to 31. You can create all different light effects to create beautiful images for your purposes. All right, this was the last part of our density surfaces. And now we're going to delete these and move on to our steric surface, which will be the last part of our tutorial today. First off, we are going to select all the hydrogen atoms by clicking on one and then go to select, select atoms of same type. Now we have selected all of the hydrogen atoms and we are going to add an ISO surface. So add ISO surface. Next up, we are going to at the bottom here at the ISO surface menu, we will select the fields and we will go to the properties and then click steric interaction. It is calculating the fields. and has now generated this image where the steric bulk of the anthracene molecule is displayed. That was all for our ADF tutorial today. I hope you found it useful and I hope you can use this to make some beautiful pictures. Please leave a like if you thought this tutorial was useful. Leave a comment to let us know what tutorial you would like to see next. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.